Management doesn't always understand why it can be so difficult for administrators to answer questions like, what all does Joe have access to in our environment? And the ultimate problem is that Windows doesn't have any kind of centralized store or database of permissions. Permissions are kept on individual things. I mean, it's easy enough to say, okay, you know, I can go look at a folder at the top level here, and I can see who has permissions to this folder. And due to inheritance, I'm going to know that this is what they have permission to inside that folder as well, except that, you know, inheritance can get broken. And, for example, we can pop over to this one and see that this person has got different permissions here because inheritable permissions are not coming through. These are just static permissions. In other words, in order to really find out every single thing that a person has access to, you literally have to look at the access control list, or ACL, on every single resource in the entire environment. That's every file, every folder, every registry key, every service, every Active Directory object, every Exchange mailbox, you name it. It's practically impossible. You could certainly write a little script file, I suppose, to scan through one server, one type of resource at a time, but it is extremely impractical. Now, the, the tools that are out there that do this scan through that stuff once, consolidate it into a database, and then watch for changes and just grab those changes as they happen. That's one common approach. Uh, it's also easy for a tool that's really written in a, a native C++ multi-threaded style, as opposed to a script, to scan through all that stuff. But that's just the way the operating system is built. Permissions live on every single resource. And that's why when the boss comes and says, look, I need you to find out what permission Joe has, because Bob over here needs the exact same ones, it's not just a question of making sure Joe and Bob are in the same groups. You really do have to make sure that Joe wasn't given any individual permissions somewhere. I know we should never do that, but it almost always crops up. And that's why our, our permission management tends to be fairly haphazard, just because there's no way to centrally get our hands around the problem.